Yeah, yeah. I'm in the booth limbing up right now. Right now. I'm in the booth heating up right now. Right now. Easy P. Yeah. I say big wood smoker, baby. Hey y'all, it's your girl Simply Sweetness coming back to you with another mukbang. I want you guys to pause this, go get you some sushi, and come and eat with me and CJ. So we was hungry for some sushi. So we decided to go get us some, some delicious sushi. And we just going to dig right in after we say our prayers because I don't want nobody coming for me again. Lord, thank you for this meal and the hands that prepared them. May it nourish our mind, bodies, and soul. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. Y'all, where y'all been? Huh? Don't get me where I been. I know. Take this gun out. We have spicy tuna, spicy crab, spicy shrimp, and the salad roll. I think they got crab on it too. It's some type of rotation. Let me see. Yeah, it is crab in there. I had to put some wasabi on here. So, y'all, I've been watching Basketball Wives, and I got some opinions, huh? So, first of all, let me say that OG gets the short end of the stick, and I'm going to tell you why in a second. Just let me dig into this. Hmm. I feel like because OG don't kiss nobody's tail, they be coming for her because she speaks her mind. I just want to know how Miss Big Bad Evelyn all of a sudden don't want to sit on the stage with OG, but she was always having something to say to her. Also, I want to know how Miss Big Bad Evelyn is talking about, oh, she's been using my abuser, but you broke your neck to text this man for screenshots. And totally ignored the fact that OG came with receipts her own self. Let me switch that over there to this. She came with her own set of receipts, okay? She pulled out her cell phone, not DMs. Which means she has this man's number. How do you feel in the type of way about a man who you say abused you? Think, people. Mm. Mm. That's good. Now, what I will say is, I'm not bashing nobody that has dealt with domestic violence issues. I think a lot of women have dealt with that. So, I'm not making fun of that or taking away from what she went through. What I'm saying is you can't call this man an abuser one minute and then you talking bad to him about him in the next breath. That's some R. Kelly and Drea type stuff. How she was saying how he did this, this, this. He hogged out of this, that, and the other. But she's showing up on live or whatever, singing his music and and dancing and stuff. My bad, y'all. I had to answer my mother call my mother in law calling me. But yeah, that's the same type of thing to me. Ooh, that wasabi. I just feel like 
if you want to try to sway people this way about a man, stay over there. Don't be talking about, oh, we cool. I could text him. I decided to call him. Ain't nobody. Nobody was there for that phone call. Well, nobody know why he she got the information she got. I just feel like it was crap. But, um, yeah. Woo! Almost dropped it. Now, y'all, I love Shani. But I feel like Shani don't check her girl when she wrong. Because, give me a second, y'all. It done broke. Hmm. Everything fell out of the I just feel like when other people are jumping into people's issues, trying to be, that's not your business. She can handle herself. There's no jumping. But when Evelyn chased Cece down that hill and fell in them bushes with her messy ass, excuse me. With her messy butt. Nobody checked her. Shani didn't check her. Why are you double teaming the person who already appears to be defenseless? That was done for her to even run down the hill to chase her in the first place. You could have waited another time. It wasn't your turn. Also, how she printed that stuff out and then decided to go to the hot springs to look for her. To confront her about this stuff. I just feel like. Evelyn is get, given too many passes and OG is getting the short end of the stick. Like everybody comes out the OG. She's not allowed to speak her mind. She's not allowed to be loyal to nobody. But everybody else has their picks and chooses on who they can be loyal to. And I just don't think that it's fair. Now, do OG work my nerves sometimes? Yeah, I'd be thinking she do the most sometimes. But everybody does. Hmm. Which one your favorite? Hmm? Which one your favorite? My favorite. Actually, my favorite, they didn't have. I like the tempura rolls. I like these. They taste like honey. And coconut. That's these things. They give it a little extra flavor. Give me a soy sauce. I just feel like everybody should be, the collective, should be held accountable. You want soy sauce on everything? I feel like they should be held accountable when they do stuff. Because I feel like there's a lot of favoritism. And, you know, a lot of people didn't understand what OG meant about the colorism situation. And to me, that just means that, you know, because she's, you know... African descent from wherever she's from or whatever. And I felt like from the moment she got on the show, she was being criticized on how she dressed. You know, people was calling her tacky. You know, this, that, and the other. And just like, you know, Phoebe said and lied and said she wasn't rapping about her. You specifically said in the boutique that she was rapping about this lady. Then you get on a reunion and you lie and say you wasn't rapping about this lady. You're lying. You was clearly rapping about her. Saying that she wear fake clothes. But the minute she told she was going to kill you with them bare fingers. That football player lady. That ain't scared of none of y'all. Nobody had nothing to say then. So let's put that fear in y'all. And then them lying on Tammy. Tell me she requested another stage and stuff. I feel like. They say a lot of stuff about people when they're not around. And nobody fact checks before they go in on the person. Mm-hmm. Woo! Let's switch that over. Whew. Oh, that ain't no joke.
Go with other? Yeah. It comes up through your nostrils. Yeah, that's why I started using it. But I like it. I like that, though. Ginger. Yeah, you got to throw a ginger slice on your roll. But, y'all, I'm going to be doing another mukbang. And it's going to be on... Oh, that's too much. But you're going to die. <laughs> I just realized what I was doing. You know, when you preoccupied, you tend to mess up. I'm going to do a mukbang on uh, snack crate. So after we get through filming this, I'm going to film that as well. I might not post them on the same day, but we're going to do another one. Mm -hmm. Let me try that. See what you got. I think. Woo! She Woo! makes the soy sauce and the wasabi. Oh, the tears. They're coming. Kinda... Yeah, that's why I had to turn away. Woo! Is that good? That's a piece of uh, ginger. If the ginger fell in there when I was mixing it up. I don't think I have ginger in that. This one. I really like this one. I like this whole platter. Y'all, he eating this up on me, y'all. To my he ate all day. I started fasting. Hmm. I don't eat nothing before 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's what's up. It's like 5 or 6 right now. Mm. Y'all. Yeah. It's like 6. I love sushi. 30. And the crazy part about it is I like... The wasabi when it comes up and go through, you know, I like that feeling. That ain't as bad as this. Like, I like that better than this. Yeah, when you mix it up, it's a little it's, it's like less this. intense. Yeah. Okay, let me do it We decided to go to the all-you-can-eat sushi place yesterday and didn't. Back on the subject. Y'all, Jackie was so sweet all season. And then, boom, she was right back in the mess. She was peacemaking. She was, and people don't give Jackie credit. She was helping me in fences. And they just went for her whole head. Jennifer played the victim again. Using her mom as a way to get back into the circle. Well, let me not say that. Because I don't know what it feels like to miss, to lose a parent. I have both of my parents. I'm, I'm Thank God. And I don't know how I would deal if that was me. I really want to taste King Pops. And I wonder if this is what a King Pop tastes like. Mm -hmm. So let me not let me not be insensitive because that ain't what I'm known for. But I just feel like Evelyn was doing the absolute most. But look, y'all, my time is running out. Thank you for joining Simply Sweet. Okay, y'all, my camera had cut off. Oh, excuse me. So I have to start over. I'm going to end this video before I run out of time again. Thank you for joining Simply Sweetness. I would like for you to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can see all of my new videos. Let people know what I'm trying to do over here. Yeah, share, share, share. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining me. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.